Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome. We are continuing our live service here, a recorded service on uh, Sunday mornings, but um, Pastor John here, I'm here to offer a prayer with you. And, you know, I just want to let you know that we are here for all of your needs. If you need something, if you need to vent, please reach out. We have our numbers are floating around everywhere on, on the Internet, on, on Facebook. If you can't get a hold of us there, please call the office. You know, we are here for you. We are praying for you, we love you, we care for you, and there's nothing that, that you can't ask us. So please reach out to us. Let us pray. Holy God, Heavenly Father, it is difficult in times like this to find thanks for what you have provided. We know that you never promised life was going to be easy. We know that we are going to go through storms in our lifetime. We know that there will be difficulties. We know that there will be struggles. But deep down, we know that you love us and you will be there for us. We are sorry that sometimes that we forget. And, and Lord, in this time of uncertainty, we offer this prayer of thanksgiving to you. You remind us over and over and over again that you are always with us. You tell us not to fear. You, you draw us closer into your presence. In you, we find strength. We find refuge. In you, we find peace. We thank you for your word that says that, that you give us power to come out of this trial as gold. Thank you that in this storm is that the storm is not going to last forever, but we are just passing through it. You know that our journey better than we know ourselves, and you will use this time of testing for good. God, thank you for being victorious over every trouble and problem and obstacle that we face. Thank you for overcoming sin and death and all the evil that we see in our lives. Because of you, we are overcomers. We have that victory because of you. That you, Thank you for redeeming us, calling us to fulfill your purpose. Merciful God, thank you that our comfort abounds through Jesus Christ. Nothing in this world brings us the comfort and peace that you offer. We thank you for understanding our trials and, and our shortcomings, and we thank you for caring for us, for loving us. Thank you for using us to be your vessels to comfort and strengthen others who are suffering. We thank you that through our faults and through our weaknesses, your strength is displayed in our lives. Your mighty power is within us, and we thank you for that. We know that all things are possible through you. Lord, we thank you that through this trial, you are using our lives and circumstances to make a mark on this world. Draw us closer to yourself. Many may know of your great name. May they hear of your works and your miracles and of your faithfulness. We choose again today to fix our eyes, not on the, all the troubles that surround us in the world, but on you alone. Holy God, we love you. Holy God, we need you now and forever. And now let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs> 